Example 5 looks long, but it's really fairly easy. We just have two things added together. The 3x squared plus 5x plus 9, and the 2x squared minus 2x plus, plus 11. And these are added together, so we can simply rewrite them both and drop the parentheses. This would be 3x squared plus 5x plus 9, plus 2x squared minus 2x plus 11. Now we can combine like terms. I'll start here. 3x squared, here's another x squared term. So those two combine to give us a 5x squared. Here we have 5x, and here's another x term, the negative 2x. 5x and negative 2x combine to give us a positive 3x. And then here we have a 9 and an 11, and those combine, obviously, to give us a 20, a positive 20 positive 20. And that's our answer. 5x squared plus 3x plus 20. In example 6, we have two polynomials and we're subtracting. 7x squared plus 2x minus 2 minus 3x squared plus 6x minus 5. So when you subtract this polynomial, remember that each term is going to get subtracted. So we have this first polynomial. Let's write that down. 7x squared plus 2x minus 2 and then we're subtracting all of these so we're subtracting the 3x squared so I'll write minus 3x squared we're subtracting the 6x so I write minus 6x and we're subtracting the negative 5 so I'll write plus 5 because minus the negative 5 gives me a positive 5 and once again, you can think of this negative sign as being distributed across these three terms. The negative applies to the 3x squared, it applies to the 6x, and it applies to the negative 5, making it a positive 5. Now we'll go through and combine like terms. We have a 7x squared and a negative 3x squared. Those combine to give us 4x squared. We have 2x and negative 6x, those combine to give us a negative 4x, and we have the negative 2 and the 5, that combines to give us a positive 3. So 4x squared minus 4x plus 3.